What's up guys, More Medic one here, and today we got a little steel MS-192 top handled saw on the bench. And the only thing that the customer requested was to replace kickback handles broken. And uh, when I cranked this thing up just to, uh, you know, give it a check out, it won't idle and it won't rev up. And nine times out of 10, when that happens, it's going to be a restricted exhaust system in my experience. So let's get this thing cranked up and I want you to listen to the sound of it when I when it's trying to idle and whenever I rev it up, just, just, just listen to it and I hope that the camera will pick up the difference and the way this engine sounds when I'm done repairing it. I'm gonna go ahead and crank this thing and, and just listen to it. take a look at the exhaust here we can tell that it's just gummed up probably being ran with too much oil in the gas most likely but let's go ahead and pop this uh, screw out right here it's just a flathead Let's just check that spark arrestor screen. Check your exhaust outlet. And if we look, this screen is probably 80% clogged. Let me show you the easiest way to clean this. Get your little map gas torch and just burn it until this gets red hot. air and it's good as new. Go ahead and reinstall it. Now just listen to how much different and how much better this thing runs. to make this quick little video for you if you've got a two cycle engine that doesn't want to idle or even if it idles but won't rev up nine times out of ten it's going to be a clogged exhaust i've seen so many mechanics go through the carburetors and replace crank seals and completely rebuild it i've seen mechanics put a short block on and because they never could get it running and then put the old muffler back on and it still had the same problem simple simple stuff is normally the cause but anyway guys y'all have a good rest of your day and we'll catch you guys on the next one